So I'm also going to show you how to do a pivot table. So it's come to the time of year where you might be doing your set lists. And you might want to just check, have you got your sets equal numbers? Have you got uh, equal numbers of boys and girls? Whatever it is that you want to just have a little look. You might want to just compare data between two things. So I've got here a spreadsheet and I'm going to show you how to use it as a pivot table. So all you need to do is highlight all your data, go to insert pivot table. Okay, so I want it in a new um, worksheet, so I don't want it to exist on this one, it's going to open a new worksheet for me, press OK. Now, what I want to find out is the set names and who's, how many students are in each one. So that's my first thing I want to do. So I'm going to just use the student ID as my values. I'm going to put my maths in my my set in the row and I'm going to put my student ID in the value. So very, very quickly I can see in my sets whether I've got equal numbers. So that's the first thing I can do. Okay, so I want to compare what grades are in what set. So what I do is I put the grade in the column and I've got the math set in the row and I've got the values is the student ID. But when I look at this, because um, we've used uh, letters, they're not maybe in the right order that I want. So I want the M row to be higher than the S row. So all I can do is grab it and move it along. Another quick trick is you can highlight the whole of the thing in between any two lines, give it a double click and it will scrunch it up so it's easier to see and then again you might just want to move around some and then if you wanted to look at what students were in a particular group all you do is you go to the cell you think oh why is those students there double click on them and it gives you a lift of those students okay so maybe you want to look at targets and compare targets so what I want to look at is against the um, year 11 target so instead of math set, I'm going to use target. So I'm going to get rid of math set. So I've got the target. Okay. I have got their current grade and their values. So I've got here the target on the left. I've got their current uh, achievement. And I want to see who's um, on target or not. So very simply, what I'm going to do is just make sure that they are in the right order first. Okay, so I've got my spreadsheet, I've got them in the right order. So now I just want to check and see who's on target or not. So if their target is a grade four, maybe I will set that three is actually okay. So I'm just going to highlight the three um, is okay. And anything above the three is above target. So I'm just going to give that a green. Okay, uh, five, um, anything on grade four is okay. Anything above it... And again, if I want to know any of these students, I want to know who this student is or, or why this student hasn't got a grade, all I need to do is click on it and it will give me the information from the original spreadsheet. Okay, hope that helps. If this video helps, give it a like. Thank you.